One day you are going in a car on a highway so much fast that you could not even see trees beside you. You wanted to go even faster but car speed limit has been reached and you couldn't. You were thinking that if I had a hypothetical super fast spaceship I could go as fast as I want because there is no speed limit. Then one day you got what you wanted a big beautiful spaceship. Now you sit in that spaceship and try to travel near to speed of light. The speed increases second by second. 10% of speed of light, 20% of speed of light, 30%, 40% and the speed goes to 80%, 90%, 99% and then suddenly you hear a buzzing sound from your spaceship saying that maximum speed limit has been reached and you couldn't go any faster. You are shocked. At first you thought that there was a problem in spaceship but then you realize that problem is not in spaceship. It is in our universe. It is not possible to go as fast as you want. Universe has a speed limit. What is universal speed limit? What if you achieve universal speed limit? Why is there even a speed limit? To know answer to this, these questions, keep watching the video till end. In this universe, there is a speed limit for every object which has mass, known as universal speed limit. The value for universal speed limit is 2,99,792 km per second, which is also known as speed of light. Any object having mass cannot achieve this speed. It means that even things as small as an atom cannot achieve this speed because they have mass. If fundamental particles like atoms are only not able to achieve this speed, how can a human achieve? Only particles like photons can travel with this speed because they do not have mass. Photons are nothing but fundamental particles of light. Now you may get a question in your mind. What would happen if we achieve the speed limit? There is no police in space to stop you. Actually police is not needed to stop you. Universe itself will make you stop. It is weird to hear right? But it is true. Actually you cannot travel with speed of light because you have mass. But even if anyhow you try to achieve this speed, universe will stop you. At first, according to theory of special relativity, time would stop for you. I am not saying that you will die. I am saying that time will freeze for you. Then, due to length contraction, your length would become zero. And all of this will create some paradoxes and stop you from achieving this speed. It means that if you travel with this speed and time stops for you, how can you achieve this speed? I think you may not have understood what I have said but don't worry, I will make a whole another video on this topic. For now you have to understand that universe will not let you achieve this speed limit. Till now we have discussed that there is a speed limit for this universe which is speed of light and anything having mass cannot cross it. But at first place why does this speed limit even exist? As I said before, if you exceed speed of light, it will create some paradoxes. To prevent this, universal speed limit exists. So hey guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you have learned something new today. And if you did, then don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. If you want some more videos like this one, then subscribe to this channel.